Hello. We are doing this new series. This is the second week of it, and it is all about knowing God. Last week, we talked about, we learned that theology is about thinking about God and talking about God. So we're going to do some theology today. We're going to think about who God is, and we're going to talk about it. Let me ask you a question. How old is God? A million. Infinite. Infinity. And beyond. All right. Well, the answer is, well, there's a lot of answers. All your answers is correct. But my answer is, he is very, very old. But he never turns old. Hmm, How does that work? Well, he was there in the beginning of the world. He created the world. And let, let's see what's in here. We've got a dinosaur. God was there when dinosaurs walked the earth. What have, what's happened to dinosaurs? Yeah, they've gone extinct. But God... Has he gone extinct? No. And he didn't even grow old from the time of the dinosaurs. He is still the same. Isn't that amazing? So that is why God never dies, because he never grows old. The dinosaurs are gone, they're extinct. But God is still the same. So he is very, very, very old. But he never turns old. He is always the same. So in the story, we saw that God appeared to Moses in the burning bush, correct? Actually, I like to call it the non-burning bush because there was a fire, but the bush didn't burn up. It doesn't make sense. And that's what drew Moses there. And then God said to Moses, I am the God of your father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob. What does that mean? It means God was saying to Moses, I am your father's God. I am your grandfather's God. I am your great grandfather's God. And now I want to be your God. Um, I learned recently of this story and I thought it was so, so cool. So during the war in the 1940s, actually towards the end of the war, World War II, my grandparents, they were um, at home one night and then they had a little baby. they, They had their first baby, my auntie, who is now an old lady herself. And she was only three days old in the middle of the night at three o'clock someone came and knocked on their door and said, guys, guys, something is happening. You guys are in real danger. And they went, what? So they gathered up their baby and they were able to protect themselves. They were in danger. And my grandparents loved God. They prayed to God and God was with them. And God sent someone to warn them of danger. God was kind to my grandparents. And, um, and he saved them. So that's my grandparents many, many years ago. And then after that, um, my dad came along. My grandmother gave birth to my dad. And then my dad grew up. And then he married a wife. And then he had some children. And I was one of the children. And my dad said, hey, let's go to the hot springs. Let's, let's have a family holiday. And it was so exciting. I was so excited. And we packed everything into the car. Actually, the grown-ups packed everything into the car. I just got into the car the way you, you all are. And I got into the car. It, it started raining. And we had to drive um, on this road. And there was mountain. And it was raining. And there was mud. And, and we had to go on this hill as part of the journey. But for some reason, my dad's car just couldn't get up that hill. And I remember praying, God, please, please let us get up onto the hill so that we can get to the hot springs and and have a lot of fun. But for some reason, we just couldn't get up. And we had to go home. I was so disappointed. 
But did you know what we found out? That on the other side of the hill, there was real danger. There was a mudslide. The road was broken. So if we had gone up and gone down the hill, we would have been in real danger. And God saved us. So God was kind to my father and saved him and his families. You see, God was the same to my grandparents. He was kind to them. He warned them of danger and saved them. And God was the same with my father. He, my father didn't know then that there was danger, but God saved him. And then I grew up from that little girl. I grew up and I got married. And then one day, my body had something really, really wrong with it. And I did not know. But I happened to be at the doctor's that day. How cool is that, right? I just happened to be at the doctor's. And the doctors went, oh my word, you are in real danger and you need to have an operation today or you will die. I know. And I was like, what? And the doctor was like, oh, you are so lucky that we caught it. But I knew it wasn't luck. It was that God was looking after me. God made sure I was at the doctor's that day. They had the operation and I didn't die. It's great. So God saved my grandparents from danger. He was kind to them. God saved my father from danger. He was kind to them, to my dad and his family, includes me, and God is now kind to me and he saved me. Do you see that God was the same throughout? And that's what we mean by generations. My grandfather was one generation, my father one generation, and now me one generation, right? And so um, he was my grandfather's God, he was my father's God, and he is my God and he has always been the same. So let me ask you, so to my family, he's been kind. He saved us from danger. What about you? What do you think God is like? Call out some attributes of God or what God is like. So I say God is kind. You say God is loving, good, huh? The best. What else? Faithful, yes. Forgiving, yes. Every time we ask God, he forgives. Sorry? Infinity years old, yes? Loving, great. Is he strong or is he weak? Strong. He is amazing. So I want you to remember that God is like that. Forgiving, strong, faithful. During your grandfather's time, which is a long time ago, and your father's time and your time. God is the same throughout. Okay, I'm now going to invite Adam up and then I'm going to pray for us. Let us pray. Lord, we just want to thank you that you are faithful. Faithful means you are the same, that you are always there during the dinosaurs' time, during the Vikings' time, during our grandfather's time, during our father's time, and now you are the same. You are very, 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 very old, and you never turn old, and you never die. We thank you so much that you are the same, and we can trust you. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen.